Hello people, welcome to another video. It's been a crazy week, right? Um, about this free energy, free electricity from Spark Props. I've had three attempts now. I ordered the original OEM Spark Plugs. This is Iridium from US. I tested it. Well, it didn't work and um, the comment section has gone agog one way or the other and uh, people are questioning this again and one of the pro free electricity guys sent me a particular sent me a particular link where it was discussed how to identify fake iridium spark plugs and uh, seeing that article on a well-known website i'm going to drop the link in, in the description i'm going to drop the link of that you know right up in the description and it's made by driven to auto who are a very big auto part um, company in uk you know so ah i mean it's making me to doubt the authenticity of these spark plugs and i want to go through all that was said and check if this is truly a fake spark plug so i mean let's get into this quickly so uh, we can be certain for once if this is really an original spark plug or not based on their expert views here yeah. these are experts they they know much about uh, what they are doing i mean they put all the thoughts on what the original is and what the fake is so i trust them and coming from one of you guys uh, i think uh, it's, it's a good one it's what i should consider so let's quickly get this so this is driven to automotive it's a uk company and they made this um amazing checklist on how to identify a fake spark plug and the original one and that's what this video is going to be about i want to know if i've bought a fake one or the original so point number one here uh is about packaging and um, how the, the, the qr code or something is written and i think with what we have here with my own spark plug i was on the screen right now really corresponds how it is written but point number one the packaging this this actually passed this is correct the packaging is correct it shows that this packaging was actually done by denso iridio according to this write-up by driven to auto the box of um, four pieces this box so let's see let's see with that seems like a very good scanner has been used however it's no link to print jobs that are fresh from an original artwork file okay so comparing this with what we have on the screen looks like this one is a little bit lighter but this one is denser the fake one is denser and that actually makes this the original one with this you can do the check that's why i'm putting it side by side okay we go back to this again how the number is printed on top of this one pieces packaging so with this again this is the original still about the packaging there is no hash tag or something it's basically the same way we have it on the screen and the next Oh, I already broke this, but uh, I think I have a video where I was opening it up. How it looks, this point, this place, you know, 
how to spot the fake there are a lot of spaces inside of it but this one is very tight and I, I, I can actually attest to that because I had to force it I had to force each of these one pieces from inside this pack it wasn't loose like this one so again this makes it original according to this report then on the leaflet what is printed here what is printed here this this one looks thicker the fake one looks very thick you know you have a pointer here to point to this thing this 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 particular one looks thick look at all these spaces compared to what we have here and what is written here then this one looks so dense you know it's shaky the print quality is it's not so clear and if you compare it to what we have here i mean it makes a whole lot of sense okay moving on the back the design around here you know has this um, stripes whereas with the fake one it's almost the same it's just like a, a blended color that fits out but this one the original one has stripes and i can see those stripes around here so that's that the printing sharpness is what they are pointing at here so it was still able to you know pick those details whereas it's already blood with the um with the fake one now on the side the real one yeah if it's about print quality the real one seems so sharp as well everything is feasible the fake one seems dull dense you know and that's it then for this again i think they are talking about the print quality again here the print quality which is feasible with this very feasible you know very feasible so you are claiming that the fake one was scanned actually now to the plug itself look at that and if you know how laser welding works you will know that you will have the finest kind of uh, welding but this one they said it's made of uh, nickel which was machined so they had to mill it down to shape but this one was actually welded and i think that suggests this is actually the original yes so trying to make us look at, at it i may not have the right height for it but on the fake one it looks curved a little it doesn't look so straight and perfect like the original and that's why i believe this that i have is also original now how they are printed right all that i'm seeing is indicating that i have the original the region spark plug and i wouldn't mind having one of you around here if you can come my base is about this is my workshop we do more than just spark plugs and all of that if you've been checking my content you know but i just wanted us to get this thing right before we move on to believing and wasting money on this so far everything that i've done so far checks out but if you can volunteer to come and do all these checks yourself my doors are open i, I can have you here it's not a problem it's not a bother for me at all i want us to be able to get things right and move on that is it as early as 2018 they made this right up and which is still valid in 2021 it was even updated in 2018 could have been faster so my conclusion is i have the original the region spark plugs and since i do have the original it's not generating any electricity that i can assure you it is up to this moment not working up to this moment it is not working 
I hope you can trust my judgment. And if someone should make a very important article like this that have helped quite a number of people identify fake products, fake iridium spark plugs and all, and you need to see in the comment section what people think, how they've helped people and all of that, you know. I figured that, okay, instead of buying outside, why don't I buy directly from them? So I went into their website and I opened an account, signed in, opened, I mean, I created an account and I signed in and then I made orders for all these spark plugs, you know, all of the spark plugs we, we <laughs> feel generate electricity, copper, platinum, iridium, you know, and then um, I selected two two pieces of them, you know, so I could uh, bring here and test, I test them, you see, the first one, champion copper core spark plug, yeah, I, I paid about almost six pounds for that, then one denso, then denso double platinum, I bought a denso platinum plug as well, you know, I bought two of it and I, 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 paid, I paid 12 pounds for that. Then NGK also made a platinum spark plug. I bought that one too in case Denso would, would not uh, you know, work depending. I just want to eliminate all doubts. So I paid about 11.62 pounds for that as well. So I have two platinum spark plugs there that I ordered. And you can see how much I'm spending for that then. I bought another Iridium TT, right? I think Iridium, just a, okay. NGK also made Iridium Spark Plug. So you know that it's not only Denso that made Iridium Spark Plug. NGK also made Iridium Spark Plug. And I bought two of that, which is, you know, about 8.4 pounds. And um, then I bought the Iridium TT. The iridium TT, the the latest iridium spark plug, and you know that's about thirteen point three pounds plus shipping and everything is totaling up to almost sixty five pounds. You know how much that is. So while testing for the one I bought from US, I was ordering this from the you know driven the autos that you know made a fantastic research article on how to identify fake iridium spark plugs and is here you know international shipping it was sent to me by royal mail and all of that and that's my name here yeah? and all probably so and i have all the plugs here so in the next video we'll be testing for all of these spark plugs to make sure they either generate electricity or not. I just want to get to the bottom of this. That's it. That's that. Yeah, bye. I expect your comment in the comment section below. Whatever you think, this is not to castigate anyone. It's just a disclaimer. I'm not, I just want things to work. Check out my works on this channel. It's about getting it right in africa is about having our own industries having the right skill set to getting things done i don't want to castigate i just want to want us to get it right and social media has been crucial in people having one skill or the other so it's about time we start putting positive things things that actually work there it's to my gain if electricity is real it's to my gain i will gain from it right i mean in a, in a particular video, people say COVID-19 vaccine also conduct electricity. I came here to test it. I already have my own job. It's, it's a lie. So I uh, just want us to get things right. That's what Think Electric Africa is all about. We'll get it right. We'll build our own industries. We'll be self-sustaining. We'll put our youth to good jobs, you know. And that's it. I'll see you in another video. Bye.